roughly 2.4 million farm jobs that need to be filled annually, but the number of available workers is on the decline. Now, with the help of artificial intelligence, farmers are getting the help they need to perform labor-intensive tasks despite that labor shortage. Our Anne-Marie Green takes us to Watsonville, California, to see how one startup is using AI and robotics to transform the future of farming. Larry Jacobs has been farming for over four decades. His business has felt the effects of labor shortages in recent years. Growing the plants has become the easiest part. All those crops take a lot of hand labor. And our biggest challenge is people and making that part of it work. We need more people. Meet the Farm and G production crew. So Ethan Rubley and Claire Delaney launched Farm and G just outside Silicon Valley to reimagine farm tools with the help of AI. They built the Amiga, a robot that can handle farming tasks, including seeding, weeding, and harvesting. The Amiga was really, it was born out of necessity to serve the, the farmers in this region. By developing the right algorithm and the right um, pieces of AI, we can simplify and get to a point where we have an interface that is really interactive and visual and uh, guide the farmer um, on, on what are the options for every situation. Farm NG is focused on providing their custom-made products to small and mid-sized farms with accessible pricing and easy-to-use technology. That's easy. Better than the tractor. <laughs> How do we lower the barrier of entry to apply AI, electric vehicle technology, robotics technology, software to farmers? Larry Jacobs quickly saw the benefits of saving his team from intensive manual labor. Back in the day, we would do that. We'd bring a wagon in here with a load of compost and with shovels and buckets. It got to the point where we couldn't afford to do that anymore, too labor intensive. With the compost spreader and the Amiga tool, all of a sudden one guy can do the compost spreading by himself. Farmers like Jacobs don't fear AI replacing people, but rather see the potential to allow humans to do their jobs better. It was meant to give everybody a, a better shovel to do their work. It's going to give us ultimately better yields and healthier plants because we will pay much more closer attention to what's happening at a much smaller level. Our goal is really to empower farmers and field workers. It's to augment uh, people when they are on the field and makes the work less generous and more comfortable and more enjoyable. The use of AI in farming could open doors to younger generations. The way young people are going to be farming in the future is going to be a few young, smart individuals really excited about growing food, excited about soils, and having all these cool tools to play with. Anne-Marie Green, CBS News. This TechWatch segment has been brought to you by Microsoft Copilot. It's AI for all.